Hey, welcome back to another video. I'm Ivan Calderon and today we're making a beat. Real quick announcement before we get started, as of today, I've officially launched my Patreon. Now, if you don't know what Patreon is, it's basically a way for viewers to support a creator through small contributions that come with some really cool perks and rewards. Some of the perks you get by becoming one of my members include behind the scenes to all of my YouTube videos, a secret Q&A, and even beat making live streams where you get to pick what I make before it goes up on the channel as a video like this. I've mentioned this before, but one of the main motivators for me for launching this channel was to provide a resource that I didn't have when I started with production. So regardless, I'm going to continue to make these videos not only because I want to continue helping, but also because I really enjoy making them. With that being said though, they do take up a lot of time. So if you like what you've been seeing so far and you feel ever so inclined, I'm going to leave that link for you down below. And again, you get some really cool perks and rewards for joining. Either way, I appreciate your time. Thank you for being a subscriber of this channel. I appreciate you. And without further ado, let's jump back into this beat. Okay, so the first thing you'll notice with this beat is that I have a brand new beat pad. This here is the Atom by Presonus, which they were so kind to send over. So a huge shout out to them. Now, I won't get too much into it because I plan on doing a review that's coming very, very soon. But essentially, this is not only a fantastic beat pad with quality pads, but it's also a DAW controller and it integrates perfectly with Studio One. Now, if you're familiar with Studio One, then you know that it also comes with a kind of a, a drum sequencer software called Impact XT. And I thought if it integrates so perfectly with the hardware, why not make some sort of like sampled boom bap type beat? So that is exactly what we did. So to walk you through this sampling process, I brought in a sample from Illmind, I believe, and this is off of one of his like Blap Kit bundles. I'm really not sure which one, but it's called Fantastic. It's at 130 BPM, and I brought it down, I time stretched it down to 98 BPM, and that sounds like this. <laughs> Now that sample sounded fine, but I wanted to really take this back to the beat pad and kind of chop it up in a more traditional sense to sampling. So that is what we did. Now, unfortunately, on Impact XT, there is no way for me to bring in a sample and then manually add markers to where I want to make the chops and assign them to the pads. There is a way to drag a sample if you hold shift and it'll automatically splice it based on the transients. But the problem is that it's not very good at detecting transients and it ends up making this, like, these like really small chops that are really unusable. I think I'm gonna make a full video about this, like my wish list for Impact XT because if they do these little tweaks and fixes that I have in mind and that I think a lot of us want, paired with this Atom, it's a game changer, especially for people who are into the sample base community of producers. I think it's going to be really, really, really good. But basically uh, what I did here, because I couldn't do that, I took the sample and I manually made some chops for what I wanted. Now the chops were these here. So if I solo them out, this is what they sound like. From there, I sent them over to an instance of impact. And to do that, all you have to do is highlight them. So select them all and then right click and go over to audio 
and then here at the bottom to where it says send new uh, to new impact. So you click that and it sends them there. Now from here, I took that last chop that I had and I pretty much brought it over to the next pad that was available. So these two are now the same, but I took that last one and I pitched it down for semitone. So once I had that in place, I pretty much had the chops that I was playing throughout the beat as the main melody. And those are these here. Now, once I had the chops set up and the melody in place, I went down to the drums. Now for the drums, I use impact as well. And I pretty much played this pattern. Now, once you add those drums back into the sample chop, then this is basically what we get. Now, real quick pro tip with the drums on impact, they all record into this kind of one event. So if you ever want to split them up into their own specific tracks, like what I used to do with machine, all you have to do is select them all right click, go over to instrument parts and explode pitches to tracks. So as you can see, now we have all the drums split up into their own specific tracks. And that's really good if you ever want to, you know, get into the mixing portion of this. Now, another thing to point out with these drums is because this was a boom bap type beat, I went in here and I quantized everything, but I did add a 15% swing just to kind of give it that little bit of flavor. Okay, so once I had the drums in place, the next thing I went for was a bass. Now, the bass that I used for this was Moto Bass by IK Multimedia, and I've talked about this before, but basically what I did was I played a melody line that followed the key that I was in, and then I bounced those files to audio, and I basically got this here. A little bit of reverb in there as well. And super simple. So if we were to play the drums together with the bass, we get this. We add the chops. Okay, so once we had all that in place, I still wanted to go back and add some sort of layers to the melodic section. So the first instrument that I added were these strings here, and they're playing this staccato kind of rhythm that kind of keeps you going, keeps you moving, and they sound like this. At the chops. At the drums. Now, last but not least, I went in and I added a choir. Now, the choir is playing this melody line here. At the rest of the instruments back in. And finally, if we add the drums, this is the full beat once again. But that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. And again, if you want to support me through Patreon, I'm going to leave that link for you down below. But as always, thank you so much for watching. Like this video if you like to subscribe if you're not already. But I'll see you on the next one.